how the game of basketball has been therapeutic for your mental mental health. Yeah, I mean, same as what Damar said. Like, you could have the most stuff on your mind. Heart could be heavy, chip on your shoulder, like cloudy mentally. Like, but you get in the gym and it's just you. You're not worried about nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just shots, shots, shots. Repetition, working on a move seeing the ball go in, hearing the ball bounce, mm-hmm. hearing the shoes squeak. Like, it'd be a little shit that you just tap into that you forget everything that's going on. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's a cool way to just kind of unplug and, and, and uncharge from shit you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not to say that you're putting it to the side, but it's like, I need to get my mind off of this shit mm-hmm. or it's going to drive me crazy because I'm putting too much into this. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, basketball, man, that shit is therapeutic. Going through the season can be therapeutic when you're dealing with tough times. Because, like he said, you got teammates that you can lean on. You got coaches you can lean on. You got games that, you know what I mean, take take up your time. You got a schedule that take mm-hmm. up your time. So it allows you to kind of disconnect sometimes when you need to. Yeah, I mean, I think I think just getting into a gym, period. You know what I mean? I think I think the whole process of it, of like grabbing the sneakers, jumping in a 30-minute car drive, mm-hmm listening to music, getting there, nobody's there. You can take your time to get ready for whatever the process is. And then you know, like, I don't, I don't know how long I'm here. Like, I don't even set a time limit. I don't know how long I'm in here for. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm gonna be at the gym for an hour. I'm not saying I'm gonna be at the gym for two hours. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the gym. But while I'm here, it's about like clearing the space, clearing my mind. Then when I get out the gym, it's like, oh, that felt good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that shit felt great. I might do some extra shit. I might do some sprints. Yeah. Like now I'm just in a whole different, I'm not even thinking about shit that was going on at home or yeah. shit that went went on back at the crib. Like mm-hmm. I'm 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 on a whole, like that shit just yeah. put me on a whole nother level of, of of a train of thought. So yeah, I think that's just kind of my process when I'm dealing with stuff. It's just like, you know, just lock in, do something, get shots, lock in somewhere else. I think it's, you know, I always, I always just pinpointed like being a kid, like shooting those Im- imaginary shots, fadeaways, balling up the paper, shooting it in the trash. If you're at school, it's like basketball was such a like universal emotion that you could tap into to where it's like, I always told myself if I ever lost that element of feeling that, that's how I know I'm, I'm, I'm ready to walk away from the game mm-hmm. because it's like it started at such a young age of having that, like P said, like, like having that imagine you know how Space Jam first start when he he, he golfing? No, no, no. <laughs> not that part. The very, very beginning when, when Jordan was a kid, okay, yep, he was yep, playing yep. outside. Okay. And dribbling, he he made a move, he going to the court. And it kind of like transitioned to him playing with the Bulls and, and the music started playing. It's like that's how I vision basketball when I was a kid, of like having that type of imagination that mm-hmm. gave me like an escape from like reality Mm -hmm. of going to like when it was time to go home like I used to cry because it was like you could just be on the court all day just shooting playing working on stuff even if you just make the craziest shot one time it give you like a a rush that nothing else could give you Mm -hmm. and I think when you have a love for the game you chase that adrenaline rush all the time and I think that's what kind of like sets us free when we go to the gym and go shoot at night. You know, you take uh-huh. take your mind and give you that rush that you need because it's, it's nothing but emotion that we had when we was young yeah. that we just continue to try to figure out how to tap into. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, I know for me, that's what I always look forward to is if, when I go to the gym is that same emotion that I had when I was a kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to watch you guys, and this isn't like a knock, and I'm curious if you guys think about this. Because, like, for instance, for me, like, I grew up playing basketball, loved it, played college, made some bad decisions, and my college career got cut short. Um, But for me, I used to have that where I could go to the gym. And then when I was done playing basketball, it's just not the same. At least for me, it wasn't. You know, it's always tough no matter what level of athletics that you've played when you stop. It can get a little challenging on what you're going to go do. So for me, I like to golf. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a fish tank cleaning out my, you know, just little stuff that you got to find that, that piece. 
Have you guys thought forward at all? Like when you guys are done, because it's, it's a difficult transition. I don't think a lot of people talk about like you guys aren't basketball is not going to be, mm-hmm. you're not going to be able to play basketball for forever. I mm-hmm. think you kind of see it, especially, you know, you can use us, for example. You know what I mean? Look, look how, you know, 10 years ago, I'm sure if you ask Pete, would he be doing something like this or had a passion that he just this? Mm-hmm. Ain't no telling what other stuff he probably have more interest in, but doing something like this and being able to connect other people that we admire to the world. Like, I think that's such a thing that get underlooked because we have the ability to get on the phone and be like, hey, what do you come do this for me? And you and now we get to give the world a different type of insight from some of our favorite people. Mm-hmm. That's a passion that we that 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 we have. Even with me doing the things that I'm doing, of even writing a book. I never thought to this day, it's nowhere I could go where people, damn being it being basketball. I didn't had older people come up to me saying like how much I helped their child through a dark time in their life. And to me, I'd be like, God damn, I, I, I never even would have thought about that. But it hits so hard and it's so heavy because it's like, damn, I have the capability to be able to do something like this by what I'm doing. It gives me a whole nother passion outside of basketball that, you know, I try to build and grow on, you know. So mm-hmm. for me, I think we we have those elements of things. But I think sport uh, sports always overshadow that, you mm-hmm. know, what I mean, because we're so great at this. But it's so much that I think guys have that is just so difficult to tap into because, you know, we've been doing this since we was kids. Mm-hmm. But we doing so much other great things as well. So mm-hmm. prize picks is the best place to get real money sports action with over five million members across the country. It is the most fun and exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. Right now, one Caleb Williams passing yard gets you one win on prize picks every week in the month of September. That's right, only one passing yard gets you an automatic win every football weekend in September. Four weeks of free W's. Don't miss the deal on prize picks because it's gone when September ends. Download the app today and use our promo code PODCASTP to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. So you can start the football season by downloading the app today and using our code PODCASTP to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. Price picks, run your game. 